now that he's been imprisoned, if he gets the money to pay, that's another ball game. We'll look at it. Because after the court has given the way it's ruling or judgment, the court becomes factus official. And so my expectation is that when he pays, then perhaps it will go into mitigate when he wants to appeal against the sentence. But I'm here to get a full ruling, we'll go through it and see what the judge said. But so far as we are concerned, he's been sentenced into 15 years imprisonment. Let's hope that he gets the money to pay. And let me also, also add, even if he's going to serve the 15 years, Ghanaians have also benefited somehow because at least 37 million has been paid to the state. If he had been sentenced last year, we couldn't have even recovered a CD or a PESWA. So there's no utility in the decision that we took last year concerning our decision to enter into, into an agreement with him to take advantage of 35. If nothing at all, the state is now richer by 37 plus million Ghana cities. The goal is to recover the monies, but Capsa Bank is one of several banks that collapsed. And I mean, what happens to the other banks that are pending? I mean, we need to recover those monies as well to the um, customers. Yeah, as we speak, we have other cases in court. Beige Capital is in court. We are hearing the matter. And then I know, I don't know when we'll be able to finish, but we've gone far. UT is also in court. Then you have uh, other banks, Dr. Dufour's Bank, they're also in court. So there's a series of cases in court. We are doing them one after the other. And let's get there.